Welcome back. His political chops have earned him the moniker Chanakya of Indian politics. And today, his sudden retirement announcement has been a bit like a bombshell. Sharad Pawar has announced that he will retire from his position as the chief of the NCP. Now, the 82-year-old is one of India's tallest leaders. He said that the time has come for him to step down and allow a new generation to take the party forward. But here's what he's making very clear. He's saying he's not retiring from public life and he's certainly not taking a back seat from politics. But he's definitely, he says, not going to contest elections after this. Listen in. And then started a high octane drama from shock to tears and even slogans demanding that Mr. Pawar take back his announcement. Emotions were running high in the room. Now, the announcement had come at the release of Mr. Pawar's autobiography, the second edition. From Jayant Patil, who broke down, urging Pawar to take back his resignation, to Jhagan Bujbal, deeming the move unacceptable, they all spoke in one voice, that of disappointment. And then there were some NCP workers who went on a hunger strike, demanding he take back his resignation. Take a look at a bit of the drama that played out this evening. For many, Sharad Pawar is the old-time Indian politician. He's been in the political spotlight for over half a century round. And he's one of the sharpest political minds in this country. He's the brain, the main brain, behind the Mahavikas Agadi in Maharashtra and is key to the anti-BJP front for years now. But let's go back and look at the humble beginnings of the man who has seen it all. Mr. Pawar started his political journey in 1958 when he joined the youth wing of the Congress party. In 1967, he won the assembly elections from Maharashtra's Baramati on a Congress ticket. And just a decade later, he became the youngest chief minister of Maharashtra in 1978. In fact, he served four terms as Maharashtra's chief minister since then. His defining moment came in 1999 when he broke ties with the Congress and formed the NCP after the party decided to nominate a foreigner, Sonia Gandhi, as its prime ministerial candidate. Okay, so Mr. Pawar has, of course, announced that he's retiring. Question is, who will be his successor? Right now, that's the one big question in the room. Now, the most obvious cho choice is either his daughter, which is Supriya Sule, or it's his nephew, Ajit Pawar. But before we get into this layered discussion, just listen in to what Ajit Pawar is saying. He's saying, now he's saying that he's just met his uncle and his uncle is telling him that he might just reconsider his decision to resign in the next two to three days. Listen in. I am सगळ्या महाराष्ट्राची आणि सगळ्या कार्यकर्त्यांची तशा प्रकारची इच्छा आहे साहेबांनी सांगितलं की मी निरोप दिलेला कारण ते सगळं हे लाईव्ह चाललंय बरं का तुम्ही जे घोषणा देताय ते तिथं साहेब टीव्हीवर बघताय चॅनलला आणि त्यांनी सांगितलं की तुम्ही आता तिथं जाऊन माझा निरोप द्या ते म्हणाले की मला माझा निर्णय आता मी दिलेला आहे परंतु तुमच्या सगळ्यांच्या आग्रह खातर मला विचार करायला दोन ते तीन दिवस लागतील मात्र हे म्हणणे मी विचार केव्हा करी इथले सगळे कार्यकर्ते आपापल्या घरी निघून जायचं नाव द टायमिंग ऑफ द अनाउन्समेंट इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मुंबई राईट नाव इज सोक्ड विथ रुमर्स ऑफ अजित पवार कोजिंग अप टू द बीजेपी 
In fact, in September 2022, last year, Ajit Pawar had walked out of the NCP National Executive Meeting. And then last month, he had skipped the NCP's convention meet. Was it a sign he was sulking? Would it be a rerun of 2019 where he sprung a surprise on everyone, including his uncle, and was sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra by the BJP? Ajit Pawar, of course, says he will be with the NCP as long as he lives. But the question still remains, is he the next boss of the NCP? That brings us to the question, who takes over? Is it, is it Ajit Pawar or is it Supriya Sule? Now, Mr. Sharad Pawar has announced a panel that will decide who takes over the NCP as the party chief. Interestingly, the committee also consists of the top contenders in this race, Ajit Pawar and Supriya Sule, both cousins. A fortnight ago on April 19th, Supriya Sule had indicated that there would be two political blasts, one in Delhi and one in Maharashtra. So was Mr. Pawar's resignation one of the blasts that Supriya was referring to? And if so, what is the next big drop going to be? And when is it going to happen? We don't know. We'll just wait and watch. For the moment, a quick chat with my guests who are joining me this evening. Krishna Hegre, spokesperson of the Shiva Sena, joining us on the broadcast. Varun Singh is a political analyst with us. Rohit Chandravarkar is a senior journalist. And Dr. Samir Dalwai is spokesperson of the NCP, joining us as well. Uh, Dr. Samir Dalwai, I quickly want to first ask you, since you're officially representing the NCP on the panel this evening, uh, is the decision of Mr. Sharad Pawar's resignation final or could there be a rethink? My sense is he's already 82. He wants to settle the succession debate and therefore it's, it's slightly tough now for him to take back the resignation that he's publicly announced. Shreya, as you are aware, there was this huge outpouring uh, where everybody wants Mr. Pawar to stay back as the party chief and there is no two questions about it. And I'm, as you are aware, he has now announced, uh, Mr. Ajit Dada Pawar announced on his behalf that he will do a rethink about it in the next two to three days. So that answers your question. However, as far as the rank and file of the party is concerned, okay. I think each and every person is very firmly behind the decision to request Mr. Pawar to take back his uh, decision to resign and to continue as the president of the NCP. Okay, let's see whether that happens. But Rohit Chandravarkar, A, do you see that happening? And B, uh, should anyone be surprised? As I said, Mr. Sharad Pawar is 82 years old. There is clearly a succession battle brewing within his family. So he just doesn't have to take care and contend with what the Sangh Parivar is plotting. He also has to see what all the plottings that are happening within his Parivar. He would want to settle this debate and then probably move on. Uh, how, do you, how do you see this announcement of, uh, of retirement? And whether you think it's happening now or it will come only after 2024? There are two versions that I'm hearing from the insiders uh, at NCP, including those sitting at uh, Silver Oak or those sitting at YB Chavan Center. One version, of course, is some of the loyalists, you know, senior power loyalists saying that this is his uh, strategy and so-called master stroke to kind of strengthen his uh, political position within the party uh, by calling all the office bearers, announcing this, and then making them say, we want you to stay so that he strengthens his position by exhibiting that support in front of the world. That is one version. Second version is that uh, senior Pawar, Mr. Sharad Pawar, is really fed up of many things that are happening in Maharashtra, within the Mahavikas Aghadi, and overall in politics. And he really wants to hang his boots now, and he wants to give, a, give away uh, you know, the presidentship to either of the names that you mentioned, uh, other one of the other younger senior NCP leaders. As I see it, Shreya, my view is that, see, look at uh, the NCP right now. It definitely has reached crossroads. It's reached a stage where they don't see much of a future in Mahavika Sagadi because they are not sure. Like in the book that was published today, written by Sharad Pawar, he uh, himself has uh, kind of, uh, mentioned displeasure over the way Uddhav Thakre functioned as chief minister du during Mahavika Sagadi's rule. So these are indications that maybe he's mm. not really very comfortable running Mahavika Sagadi the way it is running right now. Congress really giving you know some statements every now and then uh, countering the interest of uh, Mahavika Sagadi 
uh, Shiv Sena may be perhaps, you know, uh, showing displeasure over certain things that uh, NCP is doing or whatever. So he now feels that, you know, there is pressure on some of his senior colleagues from the NCP, from central government, uh, investigative agencies. Many of them are facing, you know, investigations, cases, all of that. Some of them have gone behind bars and got released uh, on bail. Uh, his nephew has time and again last two years has, uh, within the internal brainstorming, has said that, you know, keeping the option of going with BJP uh, should be open and there should not be negativity about going with BJP. If we have gone with Shiv Sena, why can't we go with BJP? That kind of a thing. So I think the party is definitely at crossroads mm -hmm. and they, they have to take a call about which way they should head. Now, release of this book and 1st May, which okay. uh, happens to be, you know, anniversary of him starting his political career, as he mentioned in his speech today, uh, he wants to take this call. So the second version is he really, really wants to take a back seat and hang his boots. And in case a group, large group, a small group of NCP leaders wants to go and align themselves with the BJP, uh, he doesn't want to preside over that as, okay. uh, you know, sitting as the NCP national president. Okay. That is what, you know, some of the people are telling us. So we really don't know which of these versions is really true. Okay. Because you know Sharad Pawar, we have, I have seen him uh -huh. 30 years at very close quarters. Yeah, he, he can take any turn in the future and he can do anything. You know, it's very unpredictable. So I think it makes sense to kind of wait and watch now. Well, uh, I have given that's... you and your viewers a small analysis, uh -huh. a brief analysis of, you know, what the situation is and what the options are. Uh, he may take back huh? uh, his resignation. Huh? Most probably, he may not. You know, the uh, the version that I'm hearing from some of the credible yeah. sources, yeah. Shreya, I can mention it here, is that uh, he's insisting that yeah. he wants to uh, kind of take a back seat and not hold uh, the, that position anymore. Last point is they are now brainstorming. The top brass of NCP is brainstorming on appointing a working president so that that working president, whether it is Supriya huh? or... Ajit Dada or whoever can take over the mantle and work under Mr. Sharad Pawar, who continues to remain national president so that the Karyakartas and the party cadres can be kept satisfied. What Mr. Ajit Pawar uh -huh. said today was, you know, he told, as you mentioned, uh, the Karyakartas that uh, within two or three days, Mr. Pawar will decide something. That was only to pacify the agitated Karyakartas today. And uh, yeah, uh, that's, don't, that's don't the go sense I that. got you as know, well. Anything can Essentially happen. to yes. say, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I'm not going story. by that. In fact, that was my sense as well. That, that 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 him coming out and saying, look, why don't you stop this hunger strike and go back home? And, you know, maybe Mr. Pawar reconsiders. But Varun Singh, is it this? Is it the BJP creating trouble in the NCP? Because that is one view as well. Ki wo bhadka rahe hai. Ajit Pawar ko bar bar. You know, they did it in 2019 and they think that they can, they can fish in troubled waters in 2023 as well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know whether BJP bhadak, is bhadakaufying Ajit Pawar or Sharad Pawar himself. If you read the book, in the book he has again mentioned uh, very categorically that uh, Ajit Pawar went for the swearing in without his consensus. While everyone who saw, has covered politics and been in politics knows that nothing happens in the NCP without Mr. Sharad Pawar's blessings. So the BJP, I don't know, they would be, any party would be happy, even Congress would be happy to see its... Uh, direct uh, ally going down because uh, their votes would get transferred to them. But to be honest, uh, I don't see the BJP hand right now over here. What I see over here is that Ajit Pawar has won round one in NCP right now. It has been for the last one month. I don't know whether people call it rumors or people call it without any base, but there was something that was brewing in within the NCP and probably it was this that Ajit Pawar wanted to have a clear cut say. If you see today's press conference, and you know, I, I was at your channel in the afternoon and I, and I, I mentioned this, Probably, you, everyone who has covered Sharad Pawar knows that you cannot trust his words. Today he says something, tomorrow he can go back on it. And that is one reason why an internal party discussion went live on all television shows so that tomorrow if he has to take back his resignation, it could be, look, 
everyone was crying everyone was sad i can't leave my karyakarta this way and you never know that he can go back on that also but ajit pawar is ajit pawar showed that now he is the one who's calling the shot and uh, probably why jayan patel was crying by award was crying and other leaders are crying because they are not in the good books of ajit pawar they are on the other side other camp and probably if ajit pawar comes in they pro- they do not have much of a thing but much of a good future in the party but whatever said and done i don't see a bjp hand right now and i and and also your next question to anyone if it would be that any ch- any chance of eknath shinde leaving and ajit pawar coming in uh, i don't see eknath shinde leaving the government i was just going to much- ask that question mr egde <laughs> i know but just answering that i, I was uh, that was my next question CM. to mr egde you become <laughs> yeah. the anchor of this show i'm telling you varun <laughs> because you have prompted my question to mr egde mr egde जवाब दीजिए सिंस वरुण इज ऑलरेडी आस्क्ड यू द क्वेश्चन सो नो वरुण इज माय गुड फ्रेंड एंड आई थिंक ही ऑलरेडी नोज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू से सो एकनाथ शिंदे जी इज गोइंग टू लीड द गवर्नमेंट इन द 2024 इलेक्शंस एंड द इलेक्शंस विल बी फॉट अंडर हिज लीडरशिप दिस गवर्नमेंट विल वर्क फॉर द नेक्स्ट 1 एंड 1/2 इयर्स एंड द शिवसेना बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट विल कम बैक इनटू पावर इन 2024 एंड कंप्लीट अनदर 5 इयर्स now in between this period of you know uh, six and a half years you know any good leader in maharashtra who wants to join us is welcome but regarding today's uh, hmm. meeting of the even NCP, mr rajit I'm... pawar is welcome i thought mr shinde <laughs> was allergic to mr uh, mr uh, ajit pawar now let me uh, clarify this that uh, today what happened is an internal matter of the ncp and therefore we do not want to Uh, comment on it it is very early to comment on something like this because sharad pawar sahab already said that he is going to resign and now he has taken some time to rethink but having said this i must also bring you to a uh, speech of his a couple of days ago where he said that agar roti gumai nahi to roti jal jayegi so whether he was talking about the roti without within the ncp organization or whether he was talking within of the roti in the mva yeah. is something which which we have to think very deeply and uh, in both ways i don't think that the ncp okay. workers are comfortable with the congress we we saw it today already in the meeting that the ncp workers were saying uh-huh. that we do not want to uh-huh. ally with the congress and if we go with them the congress does not even get even 1000 votes in the elections nay nee, what if so mr think... ajit pawar walks so to the bjp camp no mr hegde aapne roti to ghuma di बट आपने जलेबी भी खिला दी हम लोगों को आई आस्ट यू अंपल क्वेश्चन वॉट इफ मिस्टर मिस्टर अजीत पवार वॉक्स वॉक्स हैंड इन हैंड विद बीजेपी इन दैट केस वॉट डज मिस्टर शिंडे डू डज ही वॉक आउट ऑफ दलायंस बिकॉज ही इज मेड इट वेरी क्लियर ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट एनी ट्रक विद मिस्टर अजीत पवार शिंदे जी हैज नॉट सेड एनी थिंग लाइक दिस सो वी कैन नॉट पुट वर्ड इन टू हिज माउथ Okay. there is this is all speculative and therefore mm. i cannot uh, you know answer a speculative question okay. but like i said whoever follows the ideology Thank and you. whoever works for the people of maharashtra is welcome to join us are to bilkul aapne politicians jaisi baat kar di dr samir dalwai my last question and i can only give you 10 seconds unfortunately to answer this question because i'm out of time uh, what happens to the succession battle within the ncp we know that mr ajit pawar is very clear make me there's boss no, or i walk out there is, is no that how it will play out speculation as my dear friend mr hegde just said this is all speculation and you can speculate till the cows come uh-huh. home everything is fine you mentioned that the party is at a crossroads uh-huh. just look it at what it all starts with the speculation we know, know that no the party is uh-huh. doing very well and there is no reason for anybody to worry except uh-huh. our opponents and there is no problem within the mva mr pawar continues to be the mentor and the person who put the mva together he continues to be the person guiding the mba together uh-huh. and there is no reason for anybody to try and put any spokes in the wheels everything is fine and as you will see in the next few days okay. all these speculations will be laid to rest be assured the end of mba okay there will be speculations and there will be the more end of speculations the here here what i'll say i agree with uh, varun on that yeah uh, well, i agree with varun on that this is the end of the mba well, you know let's see but the guy is 82 maybe he really does want to retire you know i, I don't think we are considering that Mr. possibility at all but he is 82 that. and Mr. really Rohit maybe he does want to retire i want Mr. to retire at 42 <laughs> we leave it there for the moment Mr. Rohit guys i'm out of time that. thank you very much <laughs> thank you
हाँ आई एम आउट ऑफ टाइम थैंक्स गाइज थैंक्स गुड नाइट थैंक यू टाइम फॉर मी टू रैप द शो बट आई एम गोइंग टू रैप